стоит акация, по ней ебали с бабьеги, оторвало, короче, вот башню. Сейчас мы находимся в Александровке, рядом лежат, а вон отлетела башня. Сейчас подойдем к ней. Вот так. Germany wants to arm Ukraine with Russian funds. Interest earned from Russian assets frozen by the EU should be spent on weapons for Ukraine, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said. The US and its allies seized around $300 billion in assets belonging to the Russian Central Bank in February 2022 when the Ukraine conflict escalated. The EU has stopped short of confiscating the money outright, proposing instead to direct the interest to Kiev. It is important that we also agree that this money can be used for arms purchases not only in the EU but for purchases worldwide, Scholz told reporters in Riga after a meeting with the governments of Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. He endorsed a proposal by EU Foreign Policy Commissioner Josep Borrell about how the money should be allocated. According to Borrell, around 90% of the interest should be spent on weapons for Ukraine through the European Peace Facility Program, while the rest would be allocated to EU budgets to support Kiev's own military industry. Germany and the three Baltic states want to see weapons production in the EU ramped up, Scholz added. The bloc and the US alike have struggled to meet Ukraine's demands for arms and ammunition. The US and its allies have pledged over $200 billion in military and financial aid to Kiev over the past two years, insisting that the conflict must be a strategic defeat for Moscow, even as they denied being directly involved in the hostilities. Kiev has called on the West to confiscate all frozen Russian assets in order to help fund the conflict. The US and Canada have been supportive, but the EU has remained skeptical. About 70% of all frozen Russian funds are held by Euroclear, the Belgium-based EU Central Securities Depository. These assets generated an estimated 4.4 billion euros in interest income in 2023 alone. The after-tax revenue for the assets could reach as high as 20 billion euros by 2027, according to some estimates. Moscow has denounced the freezing of the assets as theft and threatened a reciprocal response against the assets of EU-based individuals and companies within its jurisdiction.